All right, what's popping, party people? Thank you for tuning in and for another episode of Pop Talk. This is your man, Professor Nims. I'm signing on for the casual ran. What up, though? Coach Dave. Perf. And the incomparable Boston Jarrett. Wagwan, wagwan, wagwan. <laughs> and we make up the pundits of choosalism. And before we continue on, make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel so you can get all of our updates like we upheld our end of the bargain we've been more consistent with our content and now we have a full quorum we have all of the pundits in the same room and we're going to talk in this segment all things Cinco de Mayo and this is Canelo versus Munguia so a little bit of uh, particulars for this fight so this fight is being held at um, super middleweight, so 168 pounds, where uh, Canelo is the undisputed, still the undisputed champion. Or, or, or has he been stripped? When Hell I no. You know, you know, guy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but he has all of them, so he's recognized as the ring magazine, so he's the lineal champion, so he has all of the. So this is a big opportunity for Javi Munguia. It's not a fight. I think the fight is, and we'll kind of talk about that, is definitely something that um, it's it's a fight for Mexico. Um, but the, the irony of that is that um, when it's convenient um, for uh, uh, Canelo, our uh, kind of um, uh, expedient is that he... Right, he he likes to use the excuse that I don't I don't I don't, I don't like fighting Mexican fighters and things of that nature. But um, yeah, he, whatever he, bullshit he, excuse fits whatever narrative. Yeah, him and his <laughs> kind of it kind of fits it's the all, narrative. It's all bullshit. So this fight is um, a PBC and uh, Golden Boy um, promotional collaboration. So it is a it's going to be uh, it's pay per view. Uh, available on Amazon, and it's also available on the Zone at a discounted rate. If, if you are a um, a you know member of Zone uh, in there, so Zanfer also, I believe Jaime Munguia is co-managed by Zanfer, Zanfer, or at least he was at some point. So it, just to be hundred percent accurate, I believe Zanfer is also involved. But I could be wrong. Let us know in the comments. But one thing that I find strange, and we, we can kind of talk about this, is that I. Um, I've seen little promotion uh, from this fight, um, particularly from PBC's in. Or not. PBC's been kind of quiet, I think, right? So, and, and we think about boxing has been a, pretty exciting for this uh, first quarter of the year going into, um, you know, we're nearing this, going into the the, the second quarter of the year. Um, it's been a lot of, you know, I, I, I'm going to give, Golden Boy credit. They've been making a lot of noise. Queensberry, um, more so. And then I think, you know, Matchroom, at least Eddie Hearn is keeping his face out there prominent. But um, we can kind of talk about that and how that um, kind of factors into this. But what we're going to do is give you a breakdown of the fight. And then at the end, we're going to come in and give our pundit picks. The reason that we're going to do that is that because um, the kind of prognosis, you know, for how this fight is going to go seems to be straightforward. But we want to kind of talk about all of the other um, kind of ancillary factors that are um, kind of driving this fight. Um, you know, like how did it come together? What are the implications for the fight? Uh, is Munguia a worthy opponent? So um, we're going to start with Boston Jared. So give us your impressions of this fight. Are you excited about this fight? How do you see this fight going? And then um, we'll, we'll we'll hold off on our, our, our pundit picks. We'll we'll come back around to that. Excited? A absolutely, absolutely fucking not. I mean, uh, Cinco de Mayo is one of my favorite fake holidays. Out of all the fake holidays, there are Cinco de Mayo as a as a tequila connoisseur is one of my <laughs> favorite favorite hot fake holidays. Gives me an excuse to drink more tequila. No, not excited about this fucking fight at all. Jaime Munguia is an average fighter um, who hasn't really done anything to legitimately 
warrant this fight. There were mm. guys like David Morrell and David Benavidez and William School who had all worked themselves into position to be mandatories. Uh, they never got shots to the title. This guy moves up and beats uh, John Ryder, right. I believe, coming off of a loss to Canelo. Am I right? But yeah. He, 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 but he, we, we want to give credit. John Ryder, which was something that Canelo wasn't wasn't able to. He do. did. He did. He did stop. He did stop a guy who was probably uh, probably past it. Probably past it at that point. And look, yeah, yeah, yes, he he did stop John Ryder. Uh, but that, 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 that was like his, John Ryder. Ryder's right been Ryder's been stopped before. Uh, he has been stopped before, and that, and that was his seventh never heard of. Uh, anybody anybody seen Nick Blackwell lately? <laughs> who was 16 and three going into the fight yeah 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 so let's not act it look and i got a, i got a lot of respect for john Ryder. he really uh i think is a guy that really got the most out of his uh somewhat limited ability but look yeah yeah no that this was, this is a fight yeah. this is a fight that on paper shouldn't be happening there were many many other fighters that are much more uh that were much more deserving of a shot at canelo but like we've said on this show before, you know, in the sport of boxing, especially when it comes to the sanctioning bodies, money talks and bullshit runs the marathon. And uh, there's no doubt in my mind that this this fight uh, is going to be jam packed. They won't be having to comp tickets and beg people to take tickets like they were for that Devin Haney Ryan Garcia fight. Uh, th this this thing will be will have sold out. There's going to be very very high profile people there from Mexico. That 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 that. Calexico crowd will be there. That northern um, Mexico crowd, even folks from Mexico City, I'm sure will be flying in because it, it's going to be an event for. And then for Cali. I mean, Mexico. if you, I mean, if, if if you've been to um, Southern California, I mean, it's you're in Mexico, but I mean, I said, but and the Calif and L L A is about a it's a short four hour drive to to Las Vegas. And what's it called? Jaime is from is from Tijuana. That they're, they're they're gonna be they're gonna be in the place. I mean, the place. I, I there's no doubt in my mind that this is going to uh, it's gonna be a, 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 a action packed event. It's gonna be a lot of people there. It's gonna be fun. The parties before, the parties after, and I get all that. But um, David Benavidez would have been even bigger. It would have been even bigger. Oh, it would have been even more highly anticipated. There would have been uh, it would have been a, a much more as opposed to just appealing to that Mexican casual and Mexican hardcore crowd, the Benavidez Canelo fight would have been, that would have been the fight uh, of the most anticipated fight probably since the Spence and uh, Spence and okay. uh, um, Crawford. Crawford fight. And there's no doubt in my mind that the Benavidez Canelo fight would have done in excess of a million pay-per-view buys. I think they would have blown well past a million pay-per-view oh, buys. I, I think easy. What, 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 so, what, what do you think this fight will do in pay-per-view? Uh, I, I think this will be par for the course for Canelo. I think that this fight will probably do somewhere between 500 and 750. Okay, somewhere, okay, yeah. in that, somewhere in that, in that, in that range. Seven. I mean, Canelo, Canelo's good for that. I think uh, a guy in Caleb Plant who has doesn't have much of a following at all. I mean, my girlfriend is from... Uh, is from Clarksville, Tennessee. Her brother is from the whole family is from Tennessee. None of those people know who Caleb Plant even was. Uh, so they were able to do seven hundred thousand buys with Caleb Plant. They should what? manage they, to they at least Caleb do Plant, that. The, the, the... The the slap heard around the world. That was that was that was yeah. Where he scratched him with his fingernails, you know. He, yeah, yeah, no, that yeah. Was yeah. A, I mean, that was a like he did a open right. handed slap. He got him. He got him. He he, he nicked him. He nicked him. And, and did did that did that help the the, the buys? I'm sure that it did. Uh, but this is a, an event that is going to be where the Mexican crowd, not just the, the, the Mexican American crowd, which will be significant, but I believe also the That's Mexicans yeah. who, who come here to the U S for the fight who maybe can't, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I don't know. I don't know what that demographic is predisposed to doing, but definitely the Mexican American crowd here in the U S are, are going to certainly be the driving force behind the success for this event other uh, it, it, other it, other boxing fans aren't yeah. aren't too interested in this in my opinion if you can get down there trust me i i went to vegas 
um one time with some friends who were some artists of mine and I I, I met a group of beautiful um Mexican from 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 Mexico Mexican women from there and then I think I don't know if, at least the one I was talking to was married but essentially she was like hey I'm in Vegas what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas so they oh, they were there to have they were there to have some fun uh but let me I, I want to play well, I'm not interested in there was advocate a, a little <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, oh, not, oh yeah, yeah, okay, I'm not sorry. Yeah, the, 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 the saint over here. Let me yeah. let me um let me play devil advocate a, a little Gucci. bit. All right. So <laughs> with with with, <laughs> with Mungia, all right, this is an undefeated fighter with 43 fights. He's 34 and 0. He's a he's 27 years old. No, no, 43 and 0 with 34 KOs. Okay, yeah. What, what did I say? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. He said he's 34. No, he's got 43 wins, I'm zero sorry. losses. Yeah, yeah. He's got 34 KOs. Yes. Pardon me, but yeah. So he's 43 and no with 34 KOs. Um, he uh, he was able to stop John Ryder, who who did come off the loss from Canelo, but that was something that Canelo wasn't able to do. Um, his biggest win is maybe Chanko. Black yeah, Darian Chinko, I was gonna Best say fighter he's probably that. Um uh, yeah. he also has wins off of Did he struggle Gabriel with that? Rosado. He stopped. Yeah, yeah go ahead. D D David asked if, if he struggled in that fight, and he was down in that fight, in my yeah. opinion. Oh, until no, he, yeah, he, he was, dropped. He was, now he, he was. if I'm not mistaken, he dropped Darian Chenko in the 12th round in of that fight. Round, in yeah, and if round. I remember the scorecards, let me pull this thing up. No, I, yeah. I got it right here. The, the scorecards were 115, 112, 114, 113, 114, 113. So essentially, he, if if he would have lost that last round to yeah. Darian Chenko, he would have lost his undefeated record. He'd have lost that fight, and that Sergey Sergey fought a, uh, an excellent fight in that fight. Um, yeah, but th that's the long answer to your question, Dave. Is yes, he he yeah. um he was yeah. outboxed throughout that outboxed pretty thoroughly throughout the Derevianchenko fight. Yeah, he was, his, his head he um he's got a big head. He can he can he can, he can take some punches, and he doesn't seem to mind of uh, taking those punches. Uh, against yeah. Snello. I don't know how well that's gonna suit him. I I'm guessing that Canelo is going to target the body um, because a lot of um, yep. Mexican fighters uh, that do have good chins can be vulnerable to the body. Canelo, we don't has... even know if monkey has got a good chin though. That's the thing. We don't even know if he's got a good chin. Derevianchenko was he's a never guy. Been down. He's never been he's down. He's never been down. But 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 Derevianchenko's a guy that fought most of his fights in his career at 154 pounds. 154 I don't pounds. think he That's had true. ever fought at 168 pounds before. And he went up there and and, and, and boxed the and boxed the brand. I don't know that he hurt Mungia at all in the fight. I don't remember that vividly. But we, well, we really don't. I remember know. He, it was. I was a. I don't want to say if I was concerned, but I. I did not like the clean punches that um when when Gia was taken in in there. Yeah. You, you, you know how yeah. when you when you're watching a fight and you be, it becomes a little bit uncomfortable because of the clean headshots that a young fighter he was 26 at the time and I'm like I'm I it was it gave me that feeling during the fights watching it. Now, one thing that we should probably mention is that if I'm not mistaken he was still working with Eric Morales at the time of the Derevian Chanko fight. Maybe I, I could be wrong on that. I know that he re that he switched over to, to Freddie Roach. Uh, I'm not sure if that was I mean, just for the John Ryder fight. But I mean, it's not going to help his defense. <laughs> it, it's definitely, I was going to mention that. It's definitely not going to help his defense work, work for Freddie Roach. But, but, but it would definitely help his offense. It'll definitely help, it'll definitely help his offense. Um, and will it be enough to beat Canelo? I, I, I doubt it, but, uh, look, we're, we're, we're two weeks now removed from a huge upset, right? So as I, as I say that, not just, not just, I mean, as far as the boxing year is concerned, I mean, the fun door, that fun was an upset. We got, them, uh, that Ryan Garcia fight. That was an upset win. I mean, it's been a there's, it's been a there's, theme. There's, there's, there's something there's something in in the air. That's what you say. Maybe maybe 
Maybe. So Maybe. Let, let me let me let me throw it to the to the casual ran. So uh, as a as a representative of the the kind of casual fans, do do you think that this is a fight that has um kind of caught the attention of the greater public outside of hardcore boxing fans? None whatsoever. I mean, what has Mungia done to the warrant a chance to fight for undisputed? Oh, I mean, if if I was to say that, I mean, he just he's he's undefeated. He's he's beating that, 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 that you put I, in I front of go, him. I can I I can go to Mexico. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And pass and then and, and, and to get don't you know, day bass. And, no, and, do not do not I, say I, that because don't do not say that because we 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 I, know, yeah, I, I know I know hold on. We hold know on. a fighter that was here that that went down and but tried no, to they threw they Mexico. threw him to the meat they threw him to the meat lock. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But so you so, uh, here so the Mexican you going down to there and do Tijuana to fight tomato cans. You know he, he's got some names, Randy. He's he, he he's got uh, a up, up, in, up until up until the last five fights. Tell me he got no no no, no. He, okay. I, I, I'm he, and he's he fought, got he's. He, he fought Liam Smith in 2018. He fought Saddam Ali. Uh, Saddam Ali, I think, is um, maybe kind of out there. But he, I he, mean, he fought Ali, Saddam Ali retired Kodo. I mean, but yes, I'm with you. Yes. Yeah, so that's what, yeah, so that's, that's how he kind of like, good, yeah, made his name. That's an okay I mean, I mean, then for hardcore, Dennis Hogan, Gary O'Sullivan. You got, you got and, Spike O'Sullivan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, Toriano, you know, that's Toriano Toriano Johnson. Bullshit. And then when he fought Saddam Ali, you know what I'm saying? He was always a, 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 a Mungia was always huge. And he yeah, was he did. And they brought that kid up. That was Come fucked on, up. Man. That was real. That was real fucked no, up. No, I mean, but that's I mean that's, that's I mean that's how they usually that's how they bring up. And then, up and then so I wanted they, to get 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 on day. That you know what I'm saying? His his his, his team sac sacrificial lamb, fucking Dimitri Ballard, and sitting his ass down to Tijuana. Fucking headbanger should have been down to shame for sending his ass down there. To get oh, that's him. right. Damn, I you forgot that he's headbangers. Yeah, and yeah, then he should have yeah, been he got, ashamed he got, he got, to have him. That was just a money grab for him. But, but but the thing is, he does. He he has an an an, an, an exciting style. So so at and this then, point, you know what I'm saying? What's what's so my thing is, I don't give a shit about the the how many fights you fought, how many knockouts. You know what I'm saying? There's a ranking system for a reason. If you're not fighting in the top 10 to get down to the top one, then what you're saying is some bullshit. And he didn't do that. So y'all put, y'all, they put the boxing sanctioning bodies, put him number one just because, you know what I'm saying? That's who Can Canelo forced, forced that hand. And he was like, I'm not going to fight Benavidez. You know what I'm saying? The Charlos fucked it up for, for that route. So he was like, I'm going to fight Munguia. And you know he did. You know if everything was even, all even, he wouldn't give fucking Mangia a time of day because he don't want De La Hoya making a dollar off of his ass. That's an interesting. That's an interesting point. But uh, like you pointed out, Randy, it is the highest reward with the lowest possible risk exactly. associated with it. You know what I'm saying? So the, so the rest of them dudes are gonna beat it or beat his ass. Morale. So so put it like it this: is. if I'm a, if I got a three fight deal. And the money's already guaranteed. Why I'm gonna stick my head out to fight a, a a dangerous fighter? There's no reason in the world for him to fight Benavidez. He already his purse is already solidified. Now you're right. I mean, yeah. so I mean, if 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 everybody was gonna use your logic, then we should be defending his choice of Mungia. I think that's what Randy. The point Randy wow. is trying to make, I think, is that it's a, from a business standpoint, it's the it's the it's the smartest business decision. Well, for Canelo, it's the smartest. And, and then you know what I'm saying. After this fight, he gonna fight old boy from New York. Ah, uh, that's that's, that, that's that's what I've that's. You know what I'm saying? So if the, if the shit is already written. It's it's, it's written. It's they work. They working on it. They 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 want. They they working on it. They working on it. it. it I don't know if that fight's gonna happen. In the near term, but it's definitely on their and, docket and, and, over there. And it makes no sense, man. The sanctioning body should, man, should be a damn shame to themselves and and, and fucking make Canelo vacate for this. Well, let, let's also add that guys like Benavidez and guys like Morel, I get it. And you, the, as boxing, as much as it is an individual sport in the ring, we're not, we're not really. I don't want to strike that from the record. I don't want to say that these guys have teams, and these guys don't 
call shots as much as they like to make you believe that they call shots. They don't call shots. They answer to somebody. Benavidez answers to somebody. David Morrell answers to somebody. Why did these guys move up to 175 pounds to take on nobodies? Why not keep the pressure on, put your foot down, and demand the demand these happen. fights? They, they, they would have been killing now, themselves at 168 and never fight anybody of, 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 of the no. And for as far as I know, David Morrell, neither Morrell nor Benavidez ever had trouble. I know Benavidez had his struggles at times, but those guys had, were in position. They were in position and, to get Benavidez the fight, and then they bounced. They bounced to 175. You remember last year when Benavidez was standing next to Bivol, and he son Bivol. So yeah, yeah, he's a big, he's a big kid, but he can make the weight. If you can make the weight and you want I, to I'm fight, I'm sure it was hard for him to make the weight. Like, no, like I'm, not, hey, I'm not questioning he, that. I'm just I'm he's, questioning he's making the weight. We 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 just saw Danny Garcia come in over almost three and a half pounds over the weight. David Ryan, Ryan Garcia, Ryan makes Garcia. The weight. yeah, Ryan Garcia. So um, David Benavidez makes the weight. Um, C Coach Dave. So with that said. Canelo Alvarez is 5'8", right? Um, he hasn't stopped an, an, an opponent since uh, 2021 when he stopped Caleb Plant. Munguia has the, has the age advantage. He has the size um, advantage. Um, Canelo's 33. He's 27. Um, Canelo has two losses. So you you speaking of a fighter who has never lost before, who's had to kind of dig down and kind of will itself um, to a victory in a fight that he was down before. That's true. So is there is there anything is there any chance of him of uh, when I say him speaking of Munguia of being able to pull off. A, a, what would be an, a massive upset in beating Canelo? Well, there is a chance where he can pull it off, man. I'll be honest with you, man. If I I, I would I would get this fight maybe a 60, 40%. 40% going to him being able to pull it off. Look, you hit it on the head, man. You know, Canelo is getting up there. Canelo never really been super, super duper good at cutting off the ring. And one thing about Munguia, man, you can take a look at all of his fights with Cook, Rosado, Derenchenko, or whatever. This cat knows how to punch punch and bunches of punches but the thing and the problem with Munguia is that that joker like to mix it up and rumble Munguia ain't mm -hmm. gonna run nowhere and he keeps his hands low but he's gonna be he's gonna be if he if he fight Canelo like he fought all these other guys uh he's gonna go to sleep because he just makes himself a target he makes himself a target this guy is mm -hmm. is is right then and there he's throwing a lot of punches and stuff but he is he is right there in your face now where that upset could come in at for me is that man this guy got energy bro this guy has some energy man if he can 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 keep that energy and stay on the outside and 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 and, and get those i mean he he punches bro you know this guy throws a lot of punches so if he can keep that jab long and stay on the outside man and make canelo have to use them 15 toes flat footed full ankle having ass you know mm -hmm. not able to cut the ring off on jokers if he can do that and he, just he does it. Yeah, he does outside it. Outside a little bit. He, he got he got a chance of really outpointing this guy, man, to be to be honest with you. But I but we'll get into our predictions later on. So it to answer a, your question, I would give it a 60-40, 40% chance being like, yeah, he could upset him, but that's that's not bad. It, that's not bad. Um, I mean, if he would if he would just take his head off the off, off the center line when he's throwing sometimes. I mean, bro, he, 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 he man, doesn't he, he act like he's allergic to head movement. Bruh, he, but he punches though, dude. That no, he does, and, and his, he he and he's committed bruh. to his punches. He committed, <laughs> and so you know, I I Canelo has some pretty decent defense, man. I, you know, if he catch Canelo with one of that stuff, yeah. And I know everybody's like, man, you know, look at Fondura, look at what happened with with Ryan Garcia, man. Maybe the times are turning. I I, I this Joker is prime. He he prime for Kel Canelo. A cat that might throw a lot of punches with his hands low, don't move his head off the line. He's right there to be counted by that overhand right or even that left hook by by Canelo. Man, he 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 is made for Canelo to put to sleep. I'm telling you, he is made for Canelo to put to sleep. But if the boy 
can just stay on the outside, make Canelo come and try to find him with all that energy he got, bro, I think he'll out punch, punch, punch Canelo, man. I think he'll be like daggone flies around a piece of turd on Canelo's face and just touching him. And, and that man like to go to the body. He like to kind of go upstairs and yeah. shoot down the body a little bit. You know, but so if he can go That's up a top Mexican tradition, yeah, where all those punches sneak down to the bottom body and then get up out of there, I'm telling you, he could out he could out punch Canelo and make it look and make it look good because if he moves, Canelo is not going to catch him. If anybody's moving, and really really moving, Canelo is not going to catch you. All right, so we're we're gonna thanks for that, Coach. I, I think that's a great way to kind of um, kind of summarize the um the kind of the odds and different ways that this fight could fold out. Um, but we're, we're going to get into our pundit picks. And I, I just want to give the odds for this fight. So um, Canelo is a favorite um, at negative uh, 525. And Munguia is the underdog at coming back at plus 380. So that means that a $100 bet on Munguia will um, get you $380. And it will take a $525 bet on Canelo to get back a hundred dollars on there. So um, let's start with the casual ran. Um, give us your pundit pick. So give us who you think will win and what fashion uh, that they will. Canelo knockout uh, round eight. Mm. And then, oh, I want to want to correct something you said earlier when you was like uh, Ryan Garcia. And not making the weight, and Benavidez. Benavidez first didn't make the weight when he lost his belt at one sixty eight. What started all this bullshit? Um, that is true, uh, but he, when he, when he stopped your boy, he made weight. When when he stopped Caleb, Plant, yeah, I mean, he made, he made fights where he made weight, but we're but he yeah. did, he did. That, that is almost three pounds. I stand corrected. So, um. With that, a Canelo by TKO. Um, round eight. That is a, so it says, you know, so they have a distinction between KO and TKO. So uh, Canelo victory, KO is plus 550. By TKO is plus 275. Uh, but if you get the round eight, if you pick that round, that is plus 1600. So I mean that's a I mean that's a pretty good bet. Um, I would I would I would put down a hundred dollars to get back sixteen hundred. All Oof. right, uh, <laughs> Coach Dave, uh, let's see what is your punting pick. Man, let me, I'm gonna go with Canelo by. I'm gonna go with Canelo by 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 uh, uh by stoppage, bro. Um, let me go. What Randy? What round did you pick? Hey. Man, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with 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 with, with seven. So I go with that. But if I were to put the money on it, be honest with you, if I was going to you know hit up whatever DraftKings, if I was going to put some money on it, I'd take a chance and put some money on uh on Magia by decision though, bro. Just because I'm hoping he goes in there and fight Canelo the way he should fight Canelo. That would make it an interesting fight, man. But if he, I just got to this cat likes to rumble, man. This cat likes to bang, bro. Yeah. Bro. I I can I can throw a lot of punches on the heavy bag. So tell me a time he rumbled in with a with a with a punch. That can well, that's what we, that's what we had mentioned earlier. And going through this going through this list of guys, right? Uh, I mean, I don't see it. There aren't there aren't. I, I, nah, but nah, it's but, but my, my point is that punch like, on him. And and that's, I mean, it, it, it's, it's Canelo just, that puncher, though. Takeshi, you know, Takeshi had in a way, maybe? 20, yeah, but Canelo hasn't stopped anybody since 21. And that is true, but stylistically, though, he's been in there with guys like, um, you know, he was in there with Jamel Charlo, who ran for his fucking Ray. life for, for 12 rounds. Who, 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 way who, bigger. who fought at what weight before he fought Canelo? Yeah, yeah, I, yes, that's, that's true. I'm, but I'm just saying, sty stylistically, that that wasn't going to be a fight that would favor right. a, a a stoppage. Um, not stopping John Ryder was that was definitely. If I'm a Canelo fan, alarm bells should be ringing. Not stopping a well past it, creeping up on forty, Gennady Golovkin. 
I mean, but not only awesome. that, 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 that fight was a terrible fight for one thing. And then he, he won by 115 and 113. So that was a fight. Well, that it was a 116, 112 also. Yeah, I was see, but I'm I was going by the last one. But this was a this this wasn't a fight that he dominated. But he said Bungi got the same skill set as uh Triple G. Now nah, let me let me, hey, look, no, no, let me no 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 that's that's not that's not what I'm talking about no, no, the no, ability no. to 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 stop him like what's the likelihood? No, nah, go ahead, Dave. Go ahead, Coach. Let me add this too, man. So so I I, I gave my choice, man. I, you know, Canelo, you know. By, right, by, seven. By, by seven. I gave, I gave which, him which is plus, plus 1800. So I think Munguia is just going to fight how he fight, bro. But what I'm getting at, let me be crystal clear on this, man. And, and I don't know what Munguia, what they train for. If Munguia uses that youth, those combinations, and he boxed this kid, he's going to beat Canelo. Mm. If he, if he, if he, if he, if he, if his corner is smart and, and, and and remember now these last two 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 fights we done talked about I've been getting on like and really this last one where I'm like the the fight plan the holistic fight plan of how you should approach somebody you know and so I just want to be crystal clear on that man like 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 seriously bro because I I just hope he don't fight like he fight bro because he's not gonna bully Canelo he's not gonna just stop it's just but he has a chance, man, 40% chance of seriously beating this guy, dude. All right. So um, go ahead, Boston. Uh, look, it, it, like Coach Day said, it's really, really going to depend. And this is where that that 20% that you pay Freddie Rose, Freddie Rose don't take 10% for what I remember. 20%. Freddie, Freddie, yeah, Freddie Rose is a 20, Freddie Rose is a 15, 20% trainer. That's, 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 yeah. So this is what you're paying Freddie Rose that money for, right? If you have got that game plan, if you've got the right game plan, this fight has the potential to be interesting at the very, very least, right? You, you've, you've got to dictate the pace to Canelo. You cannot let Canelo control the, the, control the action with that and, and let the fight happen in the center of the ring and allow Canelo to, to dodge single shots and, and counterpunch. You've got to bring the fight to him. You have got to displace him. You've got to control the pace and control the real estate. But he you got to be on too, though, Jack. You can't just right. stay, you, said what, you, Dave? you can't just be like Munguia and Munguia gonna set the pace. He's he punches. I'm not even worried about that. But but that Joker is a sitting target. Yes, and I'm and I'm glad you said that because what I was that, gonna say next is you have. As you as you get on your front foot and as you press forward, you have got to be prepared for that left hook to the body and that uppercut that Canelo likes to throw off the back foot and he likes to throw when he's up against the ropes. Freddie Roach has got to know that that left hook. Canelo don't have a whole lot of punches that he really throws. He doesn't well, throw punches right, per though, round. Too, that, that, overhand, that overhand right is going to be a threat for Munguia because of when he does punch, how, how low he keeps both hands, especially that jab hand, though, yeah, that overhand right is going to be a factor in this fight. But if I had to choose the lesser of the of all those evils, it's 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 the overhand. If the overhand right beats me, the overhand right beats me. But I don't want him to get off that hook to the body, hook up yeah. top, or that right. uppercut. If the right if the right hand beats me, look, we already established that Munguia is no Wilfred Benitez, fucking right. Tony. James, Tony, Pernell Whitaker, right? You, right. you, you've got minimal amount of time to, to prepare this kid uh, defensively. And Canelo's, his his punch of choice is the left hook to the body, left hook up top, and then it's that uppercut. If the right hook beats him, the right hook beats him, right? I, I mean, but I, I, I agree with you. But Freddie Roach has got to have this kid prepared for those punches. If Munguia can take Canelo's shots, this fight will get interesting because he is going to force Canelo to fight at a pace that he does not like. Now, if he can't take Canelo's shots and he get dropped, he gets dropped early. This fight is it's only a matter, it's only a matter of time. It's before Munguia gets stopped unless he shells up or unless he goes into survival mode, right? But if if Munguia if Munguia can take them shots and he can dictate that pace. Canelo is not a 168-pound fighter. He's not. 
is too much mass for him. He, he, he he's that is not an optimal weight for him. His optimal weight is 160 pounds. That's when his vascular conditioning, all that stuff, his muscular endurance is at its best. It's at its it's at its peak. 168 pounds, that extra eight pounds. It's like Professor, you pointed out that extra three pounds being a big deal. That extra that Ryan Garcia put on last week being a big deal. That extra eight pounds for Canelo is a big deal. He cannot throw the amount, the number of punches that he needs to throw to be effective at that weight. And if Munguia can take them shots, this fight might get interesting. Fight might get interesting. Right. So with that said, w w give us your pundit pick. I got I got Canelo in 11. I think Munguia 11, has really? some success. I think Munguia has some success in the middle rounds of this fight. And I think Munguia punches himself out. I think Munguia punches himself out. He depletes that gas tank. He gets caught late, and Canelo finishes him off late. I think. I think. I think Munguia doesn't have the discipline to know when to back off and when to press. I think he falls victim to some of the success that he does have. He punches himself out. He gets caught and he gets stopped late. And Canelo, Canelo in eleven. All right. That's that. That'll come back at plus eighteen hundred. Um, I'm gonna keep my short and sweet. I think that Mungia has the size and the youth and the strength to be able to last. I think he'll come out and win some early rounds. Um, and then Canelo will do his pot shotting, have some um effects in there, has some um some eye-catching combination, I don't think he's going to stop uh, Munguia. So I have Canelo by a decision, 12-round decision, probably um, eight rounds to four in that in that area, uh, which they'll, you know, they probably won't give Munguia um, credit. Um, but that that is... Um, and that that doesn't come back to me, so that would be a negative one fifteen. So I would, <laughs> so to get that decision, so I, I would have to bet one hundred and fifteen dollars to get back one hundred dollars on Canelo by decision. Uh, but that's so going to be a that, really disappointing fight. That's going to be a real disappointing fight for that fan. I just, and, I just think that's what I, the checks. I, I think that's what we have in Canelo now. I think he is that somebody thing. whose reputation kind of precedes himself. I just. I just think that that's who Canelo is at this point. If the fight plays out that way, Canelo is going to find himself stuck between a rock and a hard place when he negotiates his next fight. Because if, if 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 Cam is right and the fight plays out that way and it's not an entertaining, action-packed fight, it is really, really going to put him in a tough position to negotiate his, his next fight. Promoters, people who make decisions and write checks in the sport, they're not going to pay top dollar for 12 round uh decisions where people are throwing a handful of punches per round. It's just it's not it's not going to happen. Not at 20 million, 30 million, 40 million fucking dollars whatever this guy wants to fight nowadays. People aren't paying it. Not even Turki Alashe. He ain't paying that shit. No, not for a fight like that. You want that kind of money, you fight Benavidez. You don't fight fucking Gabe Rosado or or Jaime Munguia. It is, um, but I, I think part of it is just the uh, allure of of Canelo, and then there 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 there'll be this kind of um, kind of palpable, I mean palpable kind of um, angst and drama that'll be kind of surrounding. But I I think that um, he's Canelo's getting towards that his Floyd Floyd years where Floyd was not an entertaining boxer like his last few years. Like the, the guy is a master boxer in there. Uh, but the, 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 the drama was just all around. Could somebody kind of break this code and be able to do that? So we were kind of sitting there like, and just looking at what the challenger could do. And I just think that um, particularly when it comes to young, strong fighters, um, who 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 do have a lot of energy and can throw a lot of punches? I think um, Canelo. Some things that he learned from Floyd. He 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 has good defense. He's going to be de defensively responsible. He's not going to leave himself open. And, and I, I like I said, I, I think he'll have some eye catching combinations. 
from there, but Munguia is going to have that Mexican pride behind him. I think he's going to be able to to last, but I I just think that the boxing prowess with Canelo will kind of went over the night. Um, and it, it'll it'll it, it'll have enough drama. Uh, and to say I don't think we're going to get another G G Garcia Haney with you know three knockouts or, or so and people touching the canvas in there, but it'll it'll have enough drama in in the air. All right, so um, as we close out, anybody want to kind of give any lasting comments before we check out on this segment? Canelo's a chump, man. He know who he needs. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. I said it. And I said admit, it. That's how you feel about it. But I said it. He's a chump. He know who he should be fighting, man. Uh, that's he all. Does. He does. Canelo, give the people what they want, man. If not, then go ahead and sell off until the sunset. Man. Yeah, um, stop holding the fucking division up. Vacate them belts. If he had vacated those belts and fought Jaime Munguia, I wouldn't have a problem with problem. it. But yeah. don't sit there and, and fight this guy and, and and defend your belts against some guy that hasn't fought has fought one fight in the division against a guy that's never fought in the division. Anyway, I don't want to be labeled apart. I don't even really. I, we've talked about this at yeah. nausea. I don't even want to give this guy any more. No, that's good. I'm, I'm good. All right, but we we all will be tuning in. That's the power of Canelo. So shit, not that. me. I'm ha a fight. I'll be happily miss. <laughs> I will happily miss this fight. Happily miss this fight. Right. Zero interest. <laughs>